Like the vibe in Australia, in Sydney, um, just all over Australia and the students in Australia, I think in general is one of good energy, well-intentioned people, um, and people who like really want to be there. Uh, and I think I feel that whenever I come here, um, but also uh, when we went through the, the class and the audition the other day. Um, it's a crazy song, it's wild, um, and it's about like, um, it's about trust, it's about um, disobeying trust, um, and I think like, that happens a lot on these things, um, whether we like it or not, and I think like, uh, one thing we'll be using on, on the phones and the pieces, we're, we're gonna be using this little light, right? and I think we're gonna be just highlighting different parts of our body with that light, um, and uh, just exploring this like use of prop. Cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Everyone here is extremely willing to push themselves and push their movement and emotionally invest themselves in the piece. I think like that's one of the hardest things I think I ask for is like a, a real investment in what we're trying to say or what we're trying to put out into the world. This group had a willingness and the capacity to, to put that on and make the movement and the choreography be more than just, just movement, yeah. The use of a prop is first and foremost fun because it allows for us to like be creative and try something new, um, but it also poses like a, uh, a unique opportunity to work around problems, right? Like I, there are certain sections where I thought it would look one way, but when we tried it on the spot, it did not look at all how I wanted it. And, and those, you know, having to work around that and work through that is, uh, oh man, it's what makes the creating process so fun. That's always a goal of mine is, is not only to like push and be serious and like make work that's meaningful, but also to do so with a light heart and make sure like people are having fun. Um, because I think at the end of the day, like that's what it's all about. Finish, 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 I think Larkin differs from other choreographers because he has a very like unique source of inspiration, like a unique blend of inspiration. Yeah, what he creates is very like unique to his own like his own self because of everything that he's influenced by. I think yeah, the biggest part for me is just getting to dance with people I don't really usually dance with and just spending time getting to know like the dancers you always see around but you don't often get a chance to talk to and kind of all of us doing it together is kind of it's always like special just kind of dancing with different people um, and also old and new friends as well I think like he always just brings really good vibes to the class and he always just sets the tone straight from the start so it's like the best thing like even how he was talking about um, like the best teams are the ones that have the like best connection and everything. So I think that's like super important to him, and he really like shows that to the class. And like the vibe is already set, so it's like really great.
even though I, I guess I wasn't like really close with everyone, um, like I know pretty much everyone or most people, but even now I wouldn't say I'm like super close with everyone yet, but I think for those who I do know, I think those few, I think we really actually gotten closer. Um, being part of like the same space and like going through the same sort of struggle together, that really, we really bonded. He's got a good work ethic, so I think he has a good balance between like fun but also like you know, get down to it and stuff like that. And, like he's really open minded, he doesn't like, okay we've got to do this, we've got to do that in a fixed amount of time. Like he would set like yes we will get things done, but like he's also like free to change things up. He's very like open minded, so I think I like that aspect. He's very genuine in terms of really connecting with people and being very sincere in passing on what he knows to the community or to the people that he comes across and works with. Yeah, it comes up very loving and welcoming in a sense and very um, inspiring, I'd say, yeah. Uh, for me, when, when, like when it comes to show day, like with a group like this, Th those hours leading to to performing are the most important. Um, whether it's like sessioning in the hallway or working on the piece together, and I think a lot of it has to do with like everyone and whether they bring them their themselves to the to the table tomorrow, and and including myself. You know, like uh, a lot of it has to do with me being willing and ready to like show up and like be present and and really like go in for the group. Honestly, like bef right before going on stage, like checking in with everyone and like giving everyone like a, a ready go handshake or whatever. Like for me, like that, those hours leading up to performing are like the most important.
Yep. Yeah. 